Hi again, Joe Weikert here, back with uh, the Books and Browsers crowd here. I managed to pull aside Andrew Romberg, and Andrew is the founder of a really interesting platform you're going to hear more about in the future called Jellybooks. And Jellybooks is kind of a social and discoverability type platform for ebooks. Is that right? Is that a fair characterization? It's also about group buying books and really sharing books, um, book recommendations with each other. So it's not so much about how the reading experience is social, but how do you discover what to read next and how do you target at friends? Look, this is a book I think you might be really excited about reading and that's relevant to you as opposed to just blasting out your purchases or oh, these are the books I've bought so really make directed recommendations directed sharing of what you have read as opposed to how to share your annotations or other things during the reading process okay so let's talk about that for a minute though because I've always kind of thought that reading is sort of uh, you know something you do on your own right it's it's by yourself and oh, everybody's talking so much now about social activities within reading is there really going to be a strong social aspect do you think going forward I mean there are people who really engage in book reading clubs who share their reading experience and who were intense about it me personally I've never done it for me that's like a nightmare scenario for me books is solitary entertainment I can withdraw in a cocoon in a world and really immerse myself in the book um, so the question is how many people are like me and how many people are really discussing while they're reading the book I don't know the split uh, but I'm willing to bet the latter is the minority yeah okay and so there's off also been quite a bit of talk about just social apps and kind of add-ons if you will to e-reader devices what do you think is going to distinguish Jelly Books from what's already out there and what you've heard about what's coming in the future? So at Jelly Books, when it comes to discovery, what we are really around sharing doing is making the previews, the first 10% of any book, free to share, completely DM free. You can share the book, the first 10% with all your friends through Twitter, through Facebook. Make it available as an open API so that a blogger, a reviewer, or a newspaper can attach the first 10% to when they write about the book. Make that completely open, completely DM free. And have those previews available two weeks even before the book launches. So if a review appears, you can already get kind of a taster, a sample of that book. And we then track how do people recommend book, who is influenced by whom, how do you engage with books. So that's how we're looking at social, really just a sampling experience, not annotations, not bookmarks, not these things, just purely making the samples of ebooks really, really easy to share. Let's talk for a minute about a phrase you used last night at the reception that I loved, and you kind of called Jelly Books as sort of like a, a group on for ebooks. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So the whole idea around Jelly Books, where the name comes from, is jellies are these fun, colorful treats that you're meant to share with your friends, and it's joint experience. So for us, the treats are ebooks, and we try to make the experience of finding your next ebook to read a really fun, easy, colorful experience, and also to offer sweet deals. So basically you can get even top level books at a half price if you together with your friends buy them as a group but also you share them with friends so you encourage others this is a great read that you all together would like to buy. So yeah we shared some of the early elements of Groupon when Groupon was more about the group aspect, the advocacy that you only got the discount as a group and emphasized those for ebooks. We stripped other elements away from Groupon, so it's n there are no vouchers, these are not city deals, they're always local. Um, you get, when the deal closes, you get an e-book directly to your app, so you can instantly enjoy the thing. So there are things that makes it very, very different, but this group level, this very short period, instantaneous element, that we did take and say, how do we adopt it? I mean, Groupon has been copied a lot for services, you know, restaurants, all the like. There's probably very, very few examples where it's used for digital media. So we're really, we're not the absolute first, but it's still very new territory to apply it to digital media, where it really, really works well, because if something's popular, and um, the deal can really encourage a lot of people to discover or offer to discover a book, it should potentially really, hopefully, work well. So Jellybook's currently in development. Can you speculate on when we might see it launch? Uh, hopefully before the London Book Fair after New Year as soon as possible. UK first, we'll try it there. 
on the island and then bring it over to the States as soon as possible. The publishers are on board so we know we can do it in the States and in a couple of other countries. But getting the sharing and the discovery process really simple is quite hard. So oh, I'm sure. Time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it, though. So. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for checking it out and thanks for the interview. It's yeah, no, th thank you, Andrew Romberg.